Hi friends, today I'll be discussing about the different types of fruits. Majority of the fruits that I have here is the simple fleshy fruits and one example of a theory of berries and a compound fruit that is the sorosis. So we'll discuss one by one. First, I would like to discuss about this fruit apple it is formed by the uh, inferior ovary what we notice this fleshy part is nothing but the thalamus or receptacle inside the core of the apple is going to be the genuine fruit this type of fruit is called as false fruit or it is also called as pome we have the next type of fruit which is an example for berry i peeled off this persistent calyx which we could notice even this is developed from the inferior ovary it is an example where epicarp uh, mesocarp and endocarp are fused and they have a lot of seeds within them so berry i also have this banana which is an example for berry here in this case it is a fruit is formed by without fertilization it's a naturally occurring parthenocarpic fruit in nature uh, banana plants produce these fruits without undergoing fertilization which is completely uh, an exception from the definition of fruit fruit is a uh, fertilized ovary or a product of fertilization of ovary so but this is a case where it is an example for naturally occurring parthenocarpic fruits fruits which are formed without fertilization so that's a berry uh, then we have a droop mango mango and coconut are a good example for a droop the outer epicarp is leathery middle mesocarp is fibrous and inner endocarp is stony which we call it as vate in canada inside that we find the seed this is nothing but uh, droop droop is characterized by the presence of an outer epicarp inner fleshy and fibrous mesocarp and an inner stony endocarp which we call in Canada as vati what we eat in a mango we throw it away in a coconut the outer epicarp and the fibrous coir part in a coconut is non-edible and even the endocarp is non-edible what we are eating in a coconut is the seed part of it which is made up of the water is called as free nuclear endosperm and the meat part is the cellular endosperm <coughs> this fruit is nothing but cucumber cucumber sativus this is an european cucumber variety not the indian variety of it but anyway even indian variety is called as pepo this fruit is characterized by the presence of an epicarp, mesocarp and endocarp which you cannot separate them out and also they have parietal placentation so these are things that we have to remember regarding the uh, pepo so it's a fruit which is characteristically found in case of cucurbitaceae family so pepo which has an outer epicarp, inner uh, endocarp and mesocarp which are all merged together and the seeds are arranged in parietal placentation this is what we have to remember regarding pepo this fruit is an example lemon is an example for esperidium it is formed by the multicarpillary multilocular ovary and uh, you find a la large number of seeds at the axis so the outer epicarp we can peel it off uh, in the mesocarp is also there and the juicy endocarp is what is responsible for the uh, juicy part of it and they are quite rich in citric acid so all the citrus fruits they have this outer epicarp which is leathery and a thin membranous uh, mesocarp and an inner endocarp which is juicy and we are consuming the juicy endocarp uh, from which we extract the juice or the pulp of it <coughs> pineapple as I already told you it is a complete inflorescence similar to jackfruit they are placed under the character uh, the compound fruit 
sorosis we call it as if you dissect it and see there is a central of inflorescence axis it's an inflorescence complete inflorescence is merged and they form a fruit even in case of uh, jackfruit it is the same so it is a complete inflorescence so we call it as sorosis i also have the pomegranate punica granatum it is also called as you find here uh, the inferior uh, you can call it as sepals the flower is a national flower of spain and they have uh, even the bull sport is a, a national sport of spain even this punica granatum flower is a national flower of spain so i have just peeled off this outer persistent calyx so it's uh, formed from inferior ovary this fruit is a fleshy fruit and it is placed under balousta balousta b a l a u s t a so what we are consuming are the seeds and the testa is juicy uh, seed coat which we are consuming so these are all the different types of fruits so in the next video i'll be showing you the uh, dissected part of it before that let me wind up with this custard apple which is an ethario of berries so anona squamosa it is an example for ethario of berries it is an aggregate fruit uh, it is formed by the a single flower but they have carpels which are all free so this is an example for ethario of berries custard apple thank you